you all on today. We are here for Deborah's Voice Talk Show. We are so glad to have the opportunity to come into your homes one more time, your car, on your smartphone, on YouTube, wherever you're watching from. We want to welcome you on this afternoon. Um, we are excited to have another opportunity for you to be a participant in this wonderful show. On our Deborah's Voice Talk Show, we talk about everything from health to our mind, to our business, to relationships to love, to the Bible, right? We are excited to have the opportunity to be in the midst with you another day. Listen, I want to share with you on today um, about our topic that's going to be coming up, but I just want to remind you that we still have books available. Listen, this awesome book is available for you. The Misconception of Love and Relationships for only $15. That's right. Only $15. You can get your copy today of Love and Relationships, and that will be a blessing unto you. You're going to see this awesome work uh, when you begin to read it. It's a simple read. It's something that is very easy um, for you to utilize and it's going to be a blessing unto you. So I want you to go and order yourself a copy of this book. You can do so on our website at drdewanministries.org. That's drdewanjacksonministries.org. We would love to have you to order your copy today. Many people are being blessed around the world in their relationships. This book will help you, will help your marriage, and will help your family. All right? Only $15. Please don't forget, go on our website and order today. Listen, we also have an event coming up um, here at my church at Prayer and Faith International Ministries um, at 7231A Moffitt Road, Mobile, Alabama, 36618, right? We want to invite you to come out and be a part of the merger conference. The merger is bringing and connecting people from all backgrounds and all cultures. And so we're excited that we have an opportunity to um, welcome uh, Dr. George, who is going to be, Dr. George is going to be one of our wonderful speakers. And also we have Overseer Solomon James, who is also going to be one of our speakers. We also have Sister Shirley McCullough, who's going to be one of our speakers. So the countries that we have represented would be India, Nigeria, and South Africa on this year. The service times are going to be awesome. It's going to be 12 noon. We will start off with our first service, and then 7 p.m. will be our second service. Also, on Saturday, we're going to have another 12 noon service, which is going to be amazing. You don't want to miss this awesome event. I will also be speaking during this time. It's going to be great. We also have a special surprise for you. For those of you that join us, we have a special surprise for you. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it's a special surprise. This conference is going to be hybrid. Hybrid means that we have people who will come online from Zoom or from some other location, as well as those who will be in person. So I want you to have the opportunity to serve and connect and be a part of this awesome, awesome conference this weekend. The merger. The merger also helps our missions, which is a way that we can, amen, support the widows and the orphans and children and pastors and people like around the world. So we're excited and we look forward to connecting with you this weekend at the merger conference. Again, that's August 12th at 12 noon and 7 p.m. and August 13th at 12 noon. Meet us in Mobile, Alabama. All right, so we're excited on today to have the opportunity to be able to share with you and to talk to you on our topic for today. Last week or last time we met, we spoke about self-control. On today, I want to talk to you about renewing the mind for transformation. I believe that when we talk about this topic and this subject, it's going to open you up. It's going to cause you to transform. It's going to cause you to transcend. You're going to do great, great things once you apply these principles that I have for you today. Listen, your life is going to forever be changed when you apply these principles that I'm going to teach you on today. All right, so let's dive into the lesson. Remember, like this, remember to share it, and remember to hit that 
um, but that bell so that you can know whenever we're going live. All right. Remember, like, subscribe, share, and hit the notification button, the bell that will let it, let you know every time that we're going live. Let's spread this and let's share with other people to educate them for growth. All right. So today's topic is going to be renewing the mind for transformation. Okay. Renewing the mind for transformation. Today's topic is what? Renewing the mind for transformation. All right. So I want to tell you, first of all, that the mind is the place where we live out our actions. Okay, the mind is the place where we do what? We live out our actions. The mind is the place where we live out our actions, right? And so our mind is very powerful. I want you to understand that our mind must be trained, right? Our mind must be trained in the direction we want to go. If I understand that not only, amen, is my mind a product of my environment and my mind is a product of what? My genealogy or my DNA or my makeup, that then I'm going to have to be intentional about renewing and transforming my mind. Why? Because I want to make sure that I grow, right? If I want to grow through self-control, whether it be in wealth, whether it be in my marriage, whether it be in my business, right? Whatever the case may be, we need to grow in our mind. Whatever it is that you want to become, right? The first thing, even if it's to become healthy, right? The first place that you change any situation is in your mind. I wanted you to speak that. The first place, type that. The first place that you change any situation is in your mind because your viewpoint is what matters, right? Your viewpoint is what matters. So I want you to talk about, I want to talk to you about mental transformation. The one thing that is happening in the lives of those who are soaring and who are creating success stories in any capacity, like I said, whether it's your marriage, whether it's your finance, whether it's your family, whether it's your church whether it's your home, whether it's in your community, wherever that space may be, the number one thing I want you to understand is that what? You need to have mental transformation. Why do I need to renew my mind? I want you to ask yourself that question. Type that in the chat there. Why do I need to renew my mind? I need to renew my mind, right, for transformation, but I also have to renew my mind for growth. The number one reason why I need to renew my mind is because I need to grow, right? If I grow up in my body, but I don't grow up in my mind, then what happens is what? I become retarded, right? I'm not actually functioning in the physical capacity that I'm assigned to function in. So I want you to understand today how important it is. We need to grow or we need to renew our mind for growth, all right? That's number one. We need to renew our mind why? For growth, right? So that I make sure that I'm not just getting older in years, but I'm getting older in what? Transformation. I am growing, right? There is development that is happening for me. So I want you to recognize that why do I need to what? Renew my mind is so that I can develop into a better self. I can develop into a better person. I can develop into what? A greater version of who I am called to be. So so it's very important for you to recognize today, why do I renew my mind? Because why? I want to, number one, I want to grow. Number two, I need to have what? Self-development. So I need to renew my mind so that what? Development can happen. I need to renew my mind, number three, for what? Proper inner reactions with others. If I don't have a renewed mind, then I'm not able, amen, to have proper inner reactions with certain types of people, right? So my mind needs to be transformed so that I have the capability to speak to. I have the capability to what? Connect with. I have the capability, right? To go forward or to go in to be able to fulfill the thing that is needed. So this is very important. If I'm going to what? Renew my mind. I renew my mind for growth. I renew my mind for development. Number three, I renew my mind for proper inner reaction with others, right? To enter into certain circles and to have certain conversations. Number four, I renew my mind simply just for brain stimulation. How many know that most of us, if we're not consistently reading, we're not consistently engaging with the renewal of our transformation, that our mind is now what? Being idle. Our brain is not being stimulated, right? So I need to also have brain stimulation 
revelation. So reading is effective to help what grow my mental state. Reading is effective because it helps to what? Grow my mental capacity. It helps to what? Transform my thinking, right? It helps to transform my belief systems, okay? So how do I actually renew the mind, all right? First of all, why do we renew the mind? Let me give you those four one more time. It is for growth, it's for development, it's for proper interaction with others, and it's for brain stimulation, okay? To activate the mind. Secondly, right, how do I renew my mind, all right? That's where we really want to get into the meat of the lesson on today. How do I renew my mind? First of all, you renew your mind through repetition, okay? I want you to type that in the chat if you're watching with me on today. You renew your mind through what? Repetition. So becoming repetitious helps you to what? Renew your mind. Becoming repetitious helps you to do what? Renew your mind. It puts you in the perspective and the alignment for the fulfillment of growth. Right? So I have to keep saying it over and over and over. Repetition what? Transforms. Repetition brings transformation. Repetition brings what? Advancement. All right. So I also, how do I renew my mind? Number two, I renew my mind by what? Reciting things. Okay, I renew my mind by what? Reciting things. So if I know when you were a child, how did you renew your mind for growth? When you were learning, you know, maybe the ABCs, what did you do? You started singing A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Look what it's telling you. Now I know my ABCs. See what happens? You renew your mind because you kept reciting it. Then the end of the song says, next time won't you sing with me? See, let's say it again. So listen, you renew your mind by what? Reciting things, right? Saying it over, singing things, right? There are songs that you haven't heard for maybe 20 years, 10 years, five years but guess what you heard it enough times that it locked into your mental capacity that it came into what the capacity of your your thought patterns that now is a part of your mind listen your mind is literally like a computer it's like a download of so many activities and events and things that have happened in the past so I have to continually to work to bring it forward why because my mind is automatically programmed like that computer to to store right hardware of things that have happened in the past but if I want to train the mind right or renew the mind then I have to consistently put things in the mind for where I'm going and not where I've been all right put things in my mind for where I'm going and not where I've been yes you may need some of the things of that have happened to you that you have learned throughout the past but guess what knowledge is ever growing knowledge is ever increasing Transformation is important and we must evolve consistently. We must continue to renew our minds by also reading daily. So I can also renew my mind through reading. Okay, I can also renew my mind through reading, right? I've heard different people say, uh, more than one person say, listen, when you put things in books, amen, that sometimes people don't take the time to read. So there's a wealth of knowledge for transformation in books. There are books on how to do almost anything you possibly want to do. You can find a book. You can find a YouTube video. You can find someone taking the time to what explain it so it can help to renew and what transform your mind so how do we renew the mind we renew the mind through repetition we renew the mind through reciting things over and over and over and over like we did as a child growing up then we renew the mind by what reading something continually consistently putting things knowledge into us consistently what putting what information into us that can be downloaded that can lock us into a place 
place for mental transformation. All right, mental transformation is very important. Why? Because our mental transformation will only happen when we apply what these things that I'm speaking about, that we apply the application of repetition in our lives, doing it over and over, speaking affirmations over and over, renewing our mind by reciting things over and over, renewing our mind by reading things over and over, right? So I want you to understand your life today is a reflection of your mindset. All right. Uh, your life today is a reflection of your belief system. All right. So whatever you believe, what is shown through your life. So your life today, if somebody can type that, is a reflection of your mindset. I need somebody to be a scribe for me today. Your life today is a reflection, listen to this, of your mindset. Right. And your reflection of your belief system. So your life now, your mind rather is a reflection of what your belief system right you have to believe certain things in order for them to come to pass so the quality of your life is based on the quality of your mind all right you can say that you can type that i need a scribe that will type that in today the quality of your life is the quality of your mindset so the more that my mind is what renewed and transformed guess what's going to happen the more my life is going to what transition all right there's a simple thing in the word of god that says that these signs shall follow them that what believe all right so what is it saying it's saying whatever you believe will follow you. If you believe goodness, it will follow you. If you believe a certain truth, that's what will follow you. If you believe a certain lie, that's what will follow you. If you believe defeat, that is what will follow you. You cannot excel, right, until you obtain a superior belief system, all right? You cannot excel until you obtain a what? Superior belief system. So you have to believe for the better. Come on. You have to believe, right, that what? Transformation is happening. Why? Because every day I'm waking up reciting my change. Every day I'm waking up believing about my change. Every day I'm being repetitious, right, about my change to create a new habit, to create a new change in my life, right, to create a new system of operation for my life, right, because my life is a reflection of what? My mindset. My life is a reflection of what? My mindset. So I have to condition myself to become more than a product of my environment. I have to condition myself to become more than a product of my genetics. I have to condition myself and put myself in the posture so that I will be able to what? Catch a hold to what I'm supposed to have. Now I'm getting ready to say something. I need you to catch this today. I'm getting ready to say something. You know what? When we talk about receptivity, when we talk about receiving something, we do not just receive with our hands. I said, we do not just receive with our what? Our hands, but we receive with our what? Our mind. We do not just receive with our hands, meaning that somebody just puts something in your hand as a gift or somebody gives you something, but you receive with your mind. So because I receive with my mind, I have to make sure that what? I'm processing it and make sure that it is transforming me. So whatever I I cannot receive in my mind, I cannot receive it in my hands. All right? I'm going to say that again. Whatever I cannot receive in my mind, I will not be able to receive it in my hands, right? I can't touch something that I could not receive in my mind. I'm talking about mental transformation. So we're not talking about just a simple gift that somebody passes on to you or gives to you. We're talking about mental transformation so that if I'm going to become something greater, something better, I want to challenge myself for change for renewal, to be transformed, then guess what? I have to first receive it in my mind in order to what? A touch it with my hands, right? So I can shortchange my potential through my mental state. 
listen to me, I can shortchange my potential through my what? Mental state. So I need somebody sometimes to awaken me and to stimulate me to think different. All right. I need somebody to what? Awaken me to think in a different light to think in a different pattern, to think in a different structure. Hear what I'm saying? So you can shortchange your potential through your mental state. If you have a lack of renewing your mind, you will shortchange your life. Hear me? If you have a lack of renewing your mind, you will what? Shortchange your life. Listen, so I have to be willing to grow my mindset. Listen to me, I have to be willing to grow my mindset. Why? Because if I receive something and my mindset, come on, has not been able to what? Calculate or understand that which has been given, it will what? Automatically fall out of my hands or it'll automatically be, um, I will lose it. Why? Because my mental state is telling me that it can only be um, this particular way. My mental state will what? Bring me back and reverse me to where I came from because that's what I believe. Listen to me. Our mind, listen, may not be able to handle and to manage even what I'm asking for. So I have to be careful that when I ask for a thing, I ask for God to prepare me for what it is I want. Why? So that my mind will have the capability to transform and I will be able to attain the thing that I'm asking to have, right? That I want to handle, that I want to step into, that I want to advance in. Hear me. So my mind has to be able to manage the thing I'm asking for. So I have to continue in the work. Continue to work. Listen to me. I have to continue to work in my mind and I have to do one thing. Somebody's got to type this. Come on, I need a scribe. I have to align my mouth with my thoughts. Wow. Woo. Listen, I got to align my mouth with my thoughts. See, I can say something, but if I always say it's hard, I don't have the ability. This is taking place. That's the, See, I'm giving excuses out of my mouth because my mind is telling me I can't do it. But when I understand that what I've got to align my thoughts and I've got to align my mouth. So I got to think a thing and I got to speak a thing. And the thing that I think and the thing that I speak have to align themselves collectively and together for the fulfillment of what needs to come to pass. Do you understand what I'm saying today? Very important. You have to align your mouth and your mind. So if I'm saying, guess what? I'm going to have more or I'm going to do this particular project or, you know, my husband's going to love me, you know, so much or my children are going to bless me. Guess what? If my mind is not thinking what I'm saying, I want you to hear today. If my mind is not thinking what I'm saying, then there's a contradiction. There's a fight. And the very thing that should happen doesn't happen because my mind has not been mentally transformed. Remember, Remember, you need to transform and renew your mind for what? Growth, for development, for interaction with others, and for what? Brain stimulation. Why or how do I renew my mind? I renew my mind through what? Repetition, through reciting things over and over, right? And through reading daily. So if I'm going to have my mouth and my mind speak the same thing, I have to continually put that before me over and over and over and over and over. Okay, so this is why we have to continue to work on our mind. Influence comes through what? The influence of your mind. Come on. Influence comes through what? The influence of your mind, your mental state. You have to conquer in your mental state smallness. All right? You have to conquer smallness. Many times, if I want to grow or I want to accelerate or I want to see uh, uh, some type of manifestation or I want to see something come to pass, one thing that I have to do more than ever is that I have to come into a place of conquering smallness. 
Hear me. I have to conquer smallness. This is something that you have to work on daily, saying I'm bigger than where I am now. I believe I can do more than what I have accomplished. I believe I can soar into greater places. I believe I can stretch out to become greater than what I have become to this day. And I'm willing to what? Work in my mind what to conquer smallness, right? To conquer smallness. It is a mental state that always thinks small. It is your mental state that always thinks just enough. It is a mental state that always thinks maybe enough. It is a mental state that can think more than enough. It is also a mental state that can think greater or overflow or excess. It is a mental state. And once you come into the belief system in your mental state of whatever level you desire to be on, then you have to understand that that is the thing that will draw or attract to you. See, your mental state and your belief system and your mouth will allow you to connect. Heesh! Will allow you to connect into the place for the for, for everything that is supposed to come in your life. So stop thinking small. Can I help you? Stop thinking small. I need you to start thinking big. Overcome smallness. You know how you overcome smallness? Stop focusing on the obstacle. Stop focusing on the negative. Stop speaking about what can't be, what couldn't be, what you see is the, uh, is the roadblock. Speak about the solution and not the problem. See, your mental transformation happens when you start speaking about the solution. If your mind defeats you, you're already defeated. If your mind defeats you, you're defeated completely. If your mind defeats you, then guess what? You, you need to transition your mind and ask, ask God, pray, and ask God to help you to get a far above mentality. Hear me, to get what? A far above mentality. So where everybody else is thinking on this level, I may not even have it at the moment, but I've got a far above mentality. I have a mentality that is transitioning me to what? Far above. A mentality that is unlocking me to what? Far above, to receive more, right? So let me tell you something. Many people pray for miracles. Many people pray for miracles. Many, many people pray for miracles, but can I tell you the greatest miracle that can happen? The miracle of a transformed mind is a great miracle. Woo, I just told you something. The miracle of a transformed mind is what? A great miracle. Why? Because the miracle of a transformed mind will what? Help you to elevate and bring solutions in your life that what? Will create miracles on every side. So your mind in itself can be transformed, and once your mind is transformed, manifestations begin to happen. So the miracle of a transformed mind is a real miracle because what? It can change your whole life. Listen to me. Your mind, first of all, has to grow and your body will begin to catch up. When you are processing the renewal of transformation for the mind, you have to keep downloading in the mind, downloading daily, repetitionally saying it, repetition, speaking it, reading it, come on, continually doing the steps that are needed, reciting, affirming, believing, working in it. Guess what? And as your mind grows, your body has to follow in the place of where your mind has grown to. So your body will catch up to the mental transformation and begin to perform the things that you believe. Hear me. Your mind can usher you into your tomorrow. Your mind can usher you into what? Your manifestation. Your mind can what? Usher you forward so that you can fulfill the success that you desire. Is success what you want? Is success what you want to receive? Then guess what? You will attract the success you want through the growth in your mental state. You will attract the success you want in the growth of your mental capacity. When you start growing in your mind, I want to help you. It's going to push out certain people out of your life. When you start growing in your mind, it's going to cause you to transform. Some things fall off because of growth, not because you don't love the person, not because
because you don't care about the person, but things fall off because of your level of growth. Your level of growth will allow things to drop off and your level of growth of transformation will allow people to uh, draw to you. So why? Because where your mentality is, is where the people in that same thought process will begin to gravitate to you to what? Transition your life for change. So your mind will bring certain people to you. Come on. Your mind will open up certain circles for you because of the change of mind. Wow, we are almost out of time. I pray that you have received on today this awesome teaching because I'm telling you the, the greatest thing that I said today is that the miracle of a transformed mind is a real miracle. I want you to hear me. The miracle of a transformed mind is a real miracle. This is a thing that we have to work on. One of the other great points that I gave you today is that you have to continue to work on your mouth and your mind to align themselves together so that you're not fighting against yourself. I thank you for watching this broadcast today. I pray that you've been blessed. I pray that I've said something that you can take away, that you can work on, that you can stop speaking negativity, that you can transition your whole life. You are able to transform your whole mind. You are able to transform and to grow. And so I pray that you've been blessed again by this broadcast. Again, this is your host, Dr. Dewan Jackson. We are here today at the Deborah's Voice Show. Meet me again at the next appointed time. I know you've been blessed. I know you've been groomed and transformed and your greatness is on its way. As you begin to realize that a transformed mind is your greatest miracle. God bless you and have a great, great day. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all of our followers that are watching on today. Thank you for all of you being a part of the Deborah's Voice Show on today. We appreciate you and we thank you and we say have a great, great, great day. Today is your day of transformation. God bless you.